Hi YouTube fam and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to share with you items I've sold and tell you why I've sold them. They're all Louis Vuitton items and I will tell you about each one. Um, one thing about me though is I'm not a collector. Um, I don't want my bags just sitting on the shelf collecting dust. If I don't rotate them out and they just end up sitting, it's time to go. Um, sometimes things change in your style. What used to work for you may not work for you anymore. And I think that's what happened with me along the way. So that is part of the process um, as well. So if you like these type of videos, keep watching. Don't forget to thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel. And we'll be back at the end of the pictures. Stay tuned. This is a totally PM in monogram print. Okay, the Totally PM was a great bag. It was my very first Louis Vuitton bag. I was super excited about that bag. I purchased it from Fashion File, and I love the pockets on the side because I could put my cell phone in one pocket and my keys in the other pocket, and it was great, but it became too small. And then another problem I had with that bag was the Vachetta. I wasn't aware of how to properly care for the bag so i use a lot of lotions and i noticed right in the crease of the handle it would get really really dark and so i purchased some products to try to clean it and it just didn't work it got worse to me so before i ruined the bag i sold it and i was able to sell it in a facebook group um the louis vuitton facebook group actually and i got just about everything that i paid for the bag this is the Westminster GM in the Damier Ben print. The Westminster GM is a discontinued um, bag that's no longer in production. And I purchased that bag after selling the Totally PM and I loved it. It was my bag. It was my quote unquote never full with the zipper. I loved it. I carried it. I think I carried it almost a year straight. It was just great. Um, I later purchased some bags that's getting ready to come up and once I purchased those bags the Westminster was like too big for me and that's why I sold it it was a great bag I was able to get all of my money back in that bag again I sold it on the Facebook group or in the Facebook group this is the evasion bag charm now the evasion charm love that charm let me tell you what happened with that my girl, my girl, my girl, Zola Solis, you know, I've done several videos about her and I'll tag her somewhere up here. She makes bag charms and I started purchasing her bag charms and became addicted. So when I would look at the Louis Vuitton bag charm, it just didn't do nothing for me. It just didn't have that mm, that I needed it to have. So it just sat on my shelf because all I was using were my charms that I had purchased from her. So I was like, let me just sell this item to someone that will love it and use it. And that's what happened to that bag charm. This is the Speedy 30 in monogram print. And this is the Speedy 30 in the Damier Ben print. Okay guys, the Speedy 30 monogram, love, love, love it. But guess what? I am not that handheld chick. I can't do it. I tried it. I love the look of it. It looks so classy when other people wear it. Mm-mm, boo. It worked my nerves. I would go in the store, and I would have to sit it in a buggy. And in this day and time, it's not safe to sit your bags in a buggy unless you're going to strap it in with the, either the infant seat belt or a clip of some sort. But I could not function. If I started out in the day and I was just going somewhere that it would be okay to carry it, before I got home, I was doing something where it had worked my nerves. I mean... I'm just not that handheld person. However, before I got rid of it, I was tired of watching the weather because this particular one is in monogram and you know you have to watch the Vachetta for it, you know, water, rain, etc. So I was always watching the weather, always. I could not carry it if it was going to rain. That was kind of frustrating because you know I just wanted to carry it. So I said, okay, I'll purchase the same bag in the Damier Ben. Now this was before I totally realized that I'm not that handheld chick. But by the time I purchased the Damier Ben one in the 30, in the size 30, I knew, mm -mm. now Michelle, you have two bags, handheld, what are you gonna do? And they just started sitting. 
they started sitting because I love the look of them. They were really, I could have downsized. I really believe I would have been better with a 25 because a 30 just had so much room. I loved it. I just didn't like the handheld. Had I had those bags in the bandolier with the shoulder strap, I would still probably have those. This is the GM Cosmetic Pouch in Monogram Print. Now the Cosmetic GM Pouch, I love that pouch. But when I purchased the Speedy 30s, it made the bag heavy because it can hold so much. So my thought was I'm going to sell this and use a lighter weight cosmetic pouch. And I actually just started using an Estee Lauder pouch that I had. And I sold the larger one because of the weight it would put in the bags. I was just trying to alleviate some of the heaviness. Um, love it though. It holds a whole lot. I sold that item in the Facebook group as well. Now guys, let me share with you, um, I am a lover of the vintage Louis Vuittons mostly. Um, and what I found in my journey of purchasing Louis Vuitton over the last four years is that I don't have problems with my vintage items. I don't have glazing problems, peeling problems, or anything. And those are the items that I purchased pre-love. I haven't had a problem at all with them. Now, all of my items that I purchased new, I've had an issue with all of them except for the little key clays. Um, and maybe I'll do that on a separate video. But mostly, the pre-love items are what I love because I love the style. To me, the quality was better, um, you know, when those particular bags were made, the years that those particular bags were made. And I just love them. I also love dealing with um, buying and purchasing from Fashion File. Fashion File is a luxury consignment store and they carry all types of luxury items, all types. Um, they even have a payment plan. You can take up to, I think, eight weeks to pay for an item. Love, love, love to purchase from them. However, when you're trying to sell your items, I find that Fashion File was like on the bottom of the totem pole. Items that I had purchased from Fashion File, they didn't offer anything for them back. So I have sold all of my items in the Facebook Louis Vuitton group that I'm in, and I had no problem. Um, I sold them for double and almost triple what Fashion File offered me back on the very items I had purchased from them. So I purchased from them and I was still purchased from them. I, I love them. I just don't love their resale or their buyback. I think that needs to be tweaked a whole lot. Um, the prices that I was offered were ridiculous prices. So for that reason, I would never sell back to them. But to each his own, some people may not care um, about it at all. But what I love about Louis Vuitton is the resale. You can get just about all of your money back, sometimes more than what you pay for the item when you resell the item. So to me, it's always worth it. And that's why I will continue to purchase Louis Vuitton. Um, another thing I wanted to share with you all is that when you're buying pre-loved, always remember you don't know the history behind the care of the bag. Sometimes those bags may have been treated and you didn't know they were treated. And so when I got them and, you know, tried to treat it again or something of that nature, the results I got may not be the same as what you may get on a brand new bag that you have had and you know it's not treated and you may try, you know, any items like Love In My Bags or any of these other items out here like brands like Apple or whatever type of Vachetta care items and it may work fine. I think with me on my experiences, the bags may have been treated before I got them and then when I tried to treat them, it just made it worse. So that's just kind of like mm, a risk that you have to take or maybe you can ask them if it has been treated and to avoid that. Other than that, I love pre-love items. I love them. I love new items too, but if you can give me a deal and it's an excellent shape, I will always take that deal. So just because something didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you, okay? Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's Valentine's Day. Have a happy Valentine's Day. Treat yourself if you don't have a boo thing. If you have a boo thing, you make him treat you and treat you good. All right, see you on the next video.